Friday. Guys, look, if you're looking to lose weight or looking to fight the age, fight the slow down the aging process so you can stay looking young and, and beautiful, or if you're looking to get rid of digestive issues like uh, intent, irritable bowel syndrome, or you just want to have a smooth move on a regular basis, <laughs> hey, we got the answer for you with the magic of black seeds. Black seeds. So we're going to be talking about that in this one hour game show today. It's the game show where you get to answer questions all along the way as we play a new game from our word wall arcade we're going to be doing that with you right here live no we're also doing it with you later we've heard what you've said you people are like i want to play the game too so we've been figuring out how can we help you so that you can play the game with us live or with us later, y'all. We and got even if you're you. watching on the replay, you can find out how to get to our games site so that you can play up play the games as well. So again, this is all part of the one hour a day. We're gonna share some great recipes that involve flax seeds, the recipes that you can add flax seeds to mm. all in this one hour. But let's start with our blue ribbon plate race. Oh, blue ribbon plate race. You know, I was going to say, yeah, let's start the show because OG Patrice was in here. Hey, OG Patrice in the house. Saying greetings and salutations, all the love, sending it, sifting some soil and more is here along with my Renaissance grandma. And you know, Gail at Night is definitely letting everybody know, please be sure to click the like button. But we always encourage you to only click that like button if you are finding value. Now, of course, at the bottom of the screen scrolling, we do have blindguyhiswife.com. That information is going to be key for how you play these games with us live and with us later. So... Let's go for it, Corey. Uh, the Blue Ribbon Plate Race. This for you guys that are here in the first five minutes of our talk show. Like David Hunt saying, word, word. Yeah, all right. <laughs> boy. He had to spell it the right way and the wrong way, just in case, you know, uh, people didn't know what he meant. Because he said, word, word. And then mm -hmm. he said, what, what? <laughs> for those that, you know, hey, thank you so much, JT Coin Rings, for the super chat early. Right, JT Coin Rings, thanks for joining us and thanks for the super chat. Good news, JT Coin Rings. Uh, you were already in the race because you were here in the first five minutes. But you know, the Super Chat people, they just get a little bit more. I'm not saying it's rigged. I'm just saying that you Actually, may- yeah, we could do that. If they give a Super Chat, they can get, they can get entered in twice. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You may or may not be entered into this race twice. May or may, may or you may or you may. Increase the odds. <laughs> Increase your odds for the super chat. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for dropping our links. Uh, David Hunt, one of our favorite moderators up there. Corey, what are we talking about today? Because people want to know, how am I losing weight? How, like David Hunt, right? He's, uh, he and his wife are vegetarian. So they're yeah. like, yeah, yeah, we're doing all the things. But he's putting in hashtag the home team because he also wants to win first place pony, which only happens live. But remember, you can also play with us later. So if he wants to win now, if he wants to win later with his diet, like he might say, I want to lose five or 10 pounds or I want to keep my blood pressure low. Then how does he do this? Because JT Coin Rings wants to know the same thing. Hey, you can do it by simply incorporating flax seeds into your into different meals, drinks that you prepare. And we're going to talk about that today as we show you some recipes that you can that use flax seeds or that you can incorporate flax seeds into. And we're going to actually share with you some, with our trivia questions, we're going to find out some secrets to using flax seeds. Again, it's all about what these small but powerful seeds can do to help you with your weight loss goals, to help you with anti-aging, to help you with the uh, digestive issues. Like I said, <laughs> irritable bowel syndrome, if you just want to have a smooth move. Well, Sonya Tube is out there in Namibia and she says, hashtag the home team. That's All what right. I'm talking about. Thank you. She's the home team. Yes, yeah, she's also saying, hey, everybody. And Lord, look at David Hunt, trying to make sure he wins this race. One more than, uh, <laughs> cause JT coin ring, so grateful for you. He's super chatting even more than JT so he can win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so David Hunt gets in and in twice, so he got two increasing his odds with a super chat. Thank you, David Hunt. That's what I'm talking about. Do what you got to do. You know, you do have to pay to play. That's what they say, right? So, okay, tell us, Corey, we want to know a secret. Should we show them straight away a way that they can uh, lose weight or keep their weight down or just simply enjoy? Enjoy uh, flax seeds. Yes, flax right. seeds. So you want to show them a recipe? Yeah, let's do it because I mean that's what they're here for, right? Let's give it to them in the first five minutes. All right. So here's a 
here's a, a old school favorite. Lots of people love it. It's banana pudding, but it features a cute kid that some of you might recognize. She's actually the chef in this recipe, and we're gonna she's gonna show you how we use flax seeds in the banana pudding. Absolutely. So of course, with this particular recipe, it's super easy. Flax seeds are included, and if you're wondering what they taste like, let's go ahead and answer that really quickly. The flax seeds, they taste like, um, they have a slightly nutty flavor. They don't really taste like anything. That's the whole point that we want to make because people want to know, but is it going to be good in this recipe? Yeah, it Why doesn't have a strong flavor that's going to alter anything like a, a peanut would alter or something. Or sunflower seeds sometimes can have a, a different flavor. It doesn't mm -hmm. alter any, any, any of the flavor of the food. Corey Gale at night is, uh, she knows how flax seeds taste and she's in the race about two, three full times now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, night. All right. All right. So yes, you all. Hey, rig your sis situation up. Yeah. My Oprah smoothie for the first place pony winner. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That's it. Y'all keep saying these races and games are rigged. We're gonna show do the riggedness for real. Yes. All yeah. right. So definitely, my Renaissance grandma is uh, laughing at Gail. Like, yeah, that's right, Mary. Am I? They pulled you. This recipe is just for you because children is perfect for them okay so we're going to show you thank you for the thumbs up here's the recipe for banana pudding that uses flax seeds oh wait you know what i'm talking about here it is the video is on our channel Corey. we gotta put that yeah. here in um uh, in in the backstage area it's, it's not here sorry you all it's here <laughs> all right let's go Oh, wait, the cute little kid is, uh, there's Camille. We're gonna make it full screen. Oh yeah, she's there. We're making banana pudding. And we're using yogurt, granola that I made, and banana. Banana. Eight. Step one. So you take the yogurt and then you open it up. And you mix it up and then you put it into your bowl. <laughs> I always get around here because that's where the milk yogurt is. Step two. So you can use a spoon or you can just use your hands. And so you get the granola, however much you want, and then you just sprinkle it in. Or like you can spread it around and stuff. And then cut. Oh. You could install small pieces? Well, sometimes I do it on accident, but sometimes I do it on purpose. That one was an accident. Yeah, I never ever put the top of the banana in. Oh, that's why you ate that part? Yes. Finally, eat and enjoy. Mm. How do you like it? That's good. And I like the yogurt. This banana pudding is great for it. toddlers, teens, kids, and adults. You can enjoy it for breakfast, lunch, dessert, and a low fat treat. You can have it for a movie snack or an after school snack. This is a treat that's free of lactose, eggs, dairy, and gluten. I hope you enjoy and make sure to hit the notification bell, like, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget to check out our other videos. Bye. Now, that was a quick, easy kids recipe for banana pudding that anybody can make. Now, but it's say, also a great recipe to <laughs> add flax seeds to. I was going to say, we say quick. Y'all know we watch everything Next Gen Investor TV. You know, I always watch everything on double time. We will drop the link to that video into the chat for anybody like, wait a minute. And yeah, let's make it happen. XDMC is here. Wait, where's the vanilla wafers and extract? I didn't see it go into the oven. Y'all <laughs> not from the South. <laughs>
<laughs> but see, that, that, we, we are from the South X. If you, if you, if you eat M -M -M -C, but this is like a quick and easy dessert or snack that you can make so you don't have the baking time and you don't have to run it. You never have a box of vanilla wafers in the house. You all got to run to the store and get that. So this is the quick and easy way. Mm -hmm. uh, homemade granola, bananas, and some uh, some pudding. And so it definitely got whole, lot, got whole food in it, definitely with bananas. Now that's but, where the flaxseed belong on the yogurt. So I don't know if she put it in there, if we put it in the granola, but I don't think she put it in, sprinkled it in. But a lot of times, if you're just eating yogurt, sprinkle the flax on. We all, we made our own granola that time. That's why I kind of look like dog food. So Calpona 8319 or Supernova, Sonovia Ridley. Hey there. Hey, hey, oh, she got a new uh, picture for her avatar and everything. All right, Supernova. <laughs> so yes, that's where the flaxseed goes. It goes great with, uh, yogurt so again these great are, in granola often yeah. it's already included in granola right and these again these are great recipes that we're sharing that either have flax seeds in them or you can add flax seeds to them remember these, the flax seeds help what they lose help, weight they lose weight they slow the signs of aging they lower they your eat, blood pressure lower your blood pressure and your cholesterol <laughs> and they are a great source of uh fiber to help you to end things like irritable bowel syndrome or to have that smooth mood so you're not looking like the incredible hope Yes. Now y'all know that our favorite moderator is here. So we're going to go ahead and do the race for the first five, the people that were here in the first five minutes. So we got Philip Waldo Jr. here, but also and JT coin rings started the riggedness. He, we we're outright saying the riggedness now. If you super chat it, then you, that's why you see people's <laughs> name in the race two, maybe three times. Look, he said, y'all making it, Gail, Gail and David Hunt are making it hard for a ball brother. What him being ball got to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> we put the out trying to uh, super, keep up with super chats. Oh, oh, that's true. Okay, got it. So in that case, let's go ahead and do the blue ribbon plate race so that we can see, you know, who's gonna win. Because Sonya Tube is saying good vibes. It's actually an emoji, but you know, it doesn't show up properly here. So everybody's excited. Everybody's in here. Audrey's living life is here too, Corey. Yeah, so you Audrey's know, living life. The if, big brain lady. That's what I was gonna say. If it's game day, yes, Audrey's living life is here. You know, uh, you you already know what XDMC said. Can you add flaxseed to a blunt? Ask him for Phil. Nah, <laughs> oh, Phil, that's funny. Phil blunt. <laughs> right. Phil uh, blunt. I know that's right. So anyway, the thing is, the middle name isn't Eric. <laughs> you know what? G Albert is in here, Corey, putting G in. Albert. Hashtag the home team. Uncle G won last night. He was first place. So Uncle G, thanks to you. We saw you last night on Tori's Brain Games. This game is for you. We've upgraded the game experience. So this way everybody can really play during the live show and after the live show. And you know, we got a leaderboard too. So we want you to get over there too. We want somebody, even while you watch this live show, go play some of the games on Not there. yet. First, but we got to show it to them. We got to get them queued up though, so they know they can be on the leaderboard and they can actually flex on the folks. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, Gail, for reminding everyone to click the like button. But of course, only if you find value in this information. Uh, we just taught y'all how to make banana pudding and it actually tastes like banana, banana pudding, pudding, even without going in the oven whether you're from the South or not, all of that good stuff, whether you got coffee or not, long go, to go along with it, because Gail is reminding you all, this channel is all about health, business, and wealth. So if you're trying to figure out, how can I level up? Start your Buy Me A Coffee page. So this way, not just the community here on YouTube, but wherever you are, you can sell digital products. Uh, you start your page, the platform will give you $5 for starting it. It gives whoever you started your page from $5, everybody wins and you can offer services right there on buy me a coffee and of course people can offer you tips and all that kind of stuff so how are we going to do this corey uncle g is like that's awesome yes you'll be able to play even after today are you ready for the blue ribbon plate race i am ready all right so this is for the people that were here in the first five minutes of today's episode um of course you will see some people in there twice Cause they rigged it up i can't i can't say nothing else about it they it's their doing right so how are you going to announce these folks corey i'm gonna say on your marks get set and when i give you the nod you're gonna say go okay and this is a 20 second race right 20 second race okay 20 second race so let's go for it i'm gonna add it to, to so that everybody can see it oh dang i forgot to put wally in there let's see if we can um add wally because you already know he's listening 
he's lurking. He's waiting to see if he gets put in there. Yeah, yeah. So I say we go ahead and um, put him in there. So Philip is saying hello to everybody. He says, hi, Bijor. Did I miss somebody? Y'all let me know. Look, JT talking about love. Let me throw a little, another uh, <laughs> super <laughs> sticker. <laughs> JT, JT is really trying to win, boy. I sure hope you win because if we done rigged this up and yeah. you don't, he's like, he's like I'm going to look bad. He's like at the casino on the roulette wheel. He's like, he got some on black. He got some on red. He got some on white. <laughs> Yes. Now, all of this chatter... I can see before. That's why I know the roulette wheel looks like. Corey cannot see currently. His eyes don't work. We ain't messing up no checks. All right. So we put our disclaimer in there. So let's go for the game. Everybody is in there. Oh, Marion says, I didn't hear my name. Oh, of course we you said, said your, your name. name. Oh, we did say it. We said, Marion, I told you. We yes. We mentioned it. you. We cannot forget our fa- one of our favorite. I ain't going to say favorite, but our, one of our favorite Nigerians. <laughs> and you know what? You ain't even my favorite Nigerian because you have yet to send me some more and more. You just put in the comments that you enjoyed some or had some in the freezer. So I'm going to talk about you, Marion, because you can put flax seeds in more and more. <laughs> you could, you definitely could, and you are in the blue ribbon plate race, yes, so no worries. Yeah, you are, one, and make sure you kiss a little mama on the forehead for us. You know, she was reminding everyone how to like and share. She says you can even like and share this on Twitter. So uh, she said, "Ha ha, moi moi of life." <laughs> <laughs> so Corey, I've got the food race showing everybody. You know, here's the. Here's the lineup. Lots of people in there. Most of them are repeats because, you know, they've been rigging their way in. So I say we get right to it with this blue ribbon plate race. What are you going to say? What am I going to say? I'm going to say when your marks get set and when I give you the nod, you say go and click the button. Okay. Got it. Ready? Mm-hmm. On your marks. Get set. Quita, what's XDMC going to do if they offer him a role as a Sith Lord in the next Star Wars? He's going to audition. It's time to go to the audition. He's going to get on the plane and... Oh, he's going to go. <laughs> all right. So let's see. JT Coin rings with all his rigging is falling back. So is Marion. Oh, David Hunt. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. He did rig it. He was the first one to rig it, but JT Coin rings. But David Hunt is a hot dog. JT Coin rings is pulling up. Mary Maripoju is pulling up on him. And Wally... Is up there at the top. Oh, G. Albert. Hey. Wait, JT. Hey, JT. Thank you. <laughs> the riggedness is real, ladies and gentlemen, of today, Woo. because JT with the super chest got himself into the race, gave himself multiple chances <sighs> to win. And which food was he that came in first? He was actually a plate, looked like with some chicken, some, some fries, some green peas, all of those things. JT Coin Rings has done it. And Mary Madepoju was a close second as a sandwich. Let's look at the lineup so that we can see how this works. Oh, wow. JT Coin Rings, first place, Mary Madepoju. G. Albert was third. And then we have David Hunt, Sonia Tube, JT Coin Rings. My Renaissance grandma. Wait, so Sonia Tube made the top five. All mm-hmm. that breaking, JT Coin Rings only made the top five. But then he did make the top 10 as the sixth place. Followed by my Renaissance grandma. He also made eighth place JT Coin Rings. Ninth place was Gail at Night. See her rigging did help. And David Hunt made it into the top 10 because he's number 10. Uh, David Hunt was also fourth. So he made it to the top top five. five So this rigging is a good thing. Now let's see. We also have 13. Gail at Night. Oh, wait. 12th was JT Coin Rings. Gail at Night. Wally. Aha. JT Coin Rings, Gail at Night, JT Coin Rings, mm. Philip Waldo Jr. Ooh, you need to rig it up. And OG Patrice was first in the chat, but she is last in the race. And Wally is here saying, Rig, I wasn't here and didn't answer nothing. <laughs> yeah. OG Patrice is 45, was weighing her down. That's what she couldn't run too fast. Yes, yeah, she is packing. You know what? Good day to you, Cassandra South Fulton Garden. Good news, y'all. Everybody that was here yesterday chatting it up, even you, Cassandra South Fulton Garden, because you got a whole food forest in your backyard. And we've been peeping it, and you're in the race. So we're going to show you. We're going to head right over to the games right after JT Coin Ring's acceptance speech. Thank you. Well, guys, remember this broadcast is powered by StreamYard and by viewer support by members like you. you. Just like you, GT Junior Grows at Alaska. Shoot! <laughs> So what else did you want to tell him, Corey? I want to tell him that I'm Corey the Dying Guy. I'm his wife, Laquita Marie. And together we're here to let you into our life live every hump day. Bang! 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 To Friday. Mm. 
Mm. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Yeah. 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do all things health, business, and wealth and changing the normal on those topics so that you can be the best version of you. And today is Game Show Friday where we're actually going to have a good time talking about how you can lose weight. Slow the signs of aging, mm. ease, ease digestive issues like irritable bowel syndrome. You can lower your cholesterol, your high blood pressure, and have a smooth move. So for those of you wondering what a smooth move is, you know, especially y'all are all adults. You know, you don't want to be sitting in there with your feet on the wall and all of that kind of stuff. Corey, stop. He ain't got to do all that. <laughs> Looking like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> When he was trying to come out to fight Thanos, he's like, no. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. So Philip Waldo Jr. says, how am I in the race 17 times and I'm in 18th place? Look, hey, that's what happens. You should have been like JT you... Coin Rings who said, bang, bang, bang. There you go. <laughs> that's what happens when you can come a lot. You know what? Uh, Wally is talking trash, saying you already know it's Friday and Laquita with the rickedness, but yeah, we, the we, we, we admit to the rickedness. We are admitting to the rickedness today. You, they, the people that the super chats they got multiple entries into the race so yes it is rigged don't laugh at him gt jr you just keep on driving he's on his way to work so he's driving and listening Corey. so let's get right into the game it's game day y'all we're going to show you how you can play right now how you can play later so we're going to go to blindguyhiswife.com scrolling right there at the bottom of the screen and what you'll see when you get there is the game now Go ahead, Corey. You guys have, you guys, you know, you guys have a lot of fun playing the games here on our show with us and learning as we I'm gonna, go. I'm going to scroll up. Go ahead. But, you know, we decided that, okay, we want to give you an arcade of sorts to come to our website and you can continue to have fun and engage with, with uh, the games and play even when the show is not, is over. And it's a great way for people to have conversations with family members and, and co-workers. For example, we talk about people that have G. Albert, his church, since he was one of the last people you mentioned. G. Albert, this is a great way to get people involved in making better menu choices for those church dinners, like you were saying, Laquita mm -hmm. Or for PWJ, if you got people that are asking you to come out and be their grill master for their event, you can make good suggestions oh. on side, not side, you can make good suggestions suggestions on accompanying dishes that have that are that have the whole food plant based. As now here's as the thing, they don't even have to be whole food plants ba plant based. If he's if he's smoking a brisket for them, right. he can also tell them the benefits of what else. But G. Albert, I have his question pulled up here. So I'm just showing them where if you're a content creator and you're, oh, you know what? Mary Mighty told you. I don't think mm -hmm. we put a question for her in this game because it says here, G. Albert does a lot of IT management at his church and is great at giving what type of advice. It tells you to select three answers. Is it tech tips, travel, grits tips, pet tips, relationship, or live streaming? I'm going to choose tech, live streaming, and grits. Boom, you know, and so you can just go through, you can learn about different content creators like Trash Can Waves, Cassandra South Fulton Garden has a food forest in her yard where she grows what? So of course, that's what that game is all about. So you all that are here today, we will constantly add questions there. But right now we're gonna get into our first question for today. Let's see what the chat is saying because they are on fire like Alimati, Alamatu Sadia blogs out there in Kuwait. Y'all know she's Ghanaian, so hello, hello. Uh, we also have Bravo with Sheila, Ladies Less Chat. You know, Philip is singing, hey, oh, Sheila. Nah, <laughs> oh, I right. You guys say Bravo. <laughs> Ladies, let's talk with Sheila. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. And you know, Philip is right. Isn't this a family show? And Corey's banging and queen uh moaning, baby Jesus be a fence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think all oh, that happened, but okay. I know. All right. So let's get into it because if you're here today, keep in mind, we will continue to add those questions. Today, we're talking about flax seeds. And that is the reason why we have all of these questions. Now, JT now, Corn Rings. Say this. This information is for informational purposes only. It's not a substitute for nutritional or medical advice. It is just a, this is just for informational purposes only. If you have questions about medical, your medical health situations, go consult your own physician. Your own physician. We, we I'm a nurse, but I ain't your doctor. So let's get into it. First question, let's bring it up. This is about flax seeds. Let's go ahead and show it on the screen so that you all, I'm gonna resume. Now we all also already showed you a great recipe that's dealing with, that was banana pudding, uh, a quick banana pudding recipe that you could add flax seeds to. Most but people say that flax seeds taste like what? 
So did you hear that, Corey? The nice thing is we could add the accessibility feature with these games. So most people say that flax seeds taste like what? The ground, slightly nutty, or fiber. So let's make sure, I'm gonna just double check that everybody can see the whole, the question, the whole question and nothing but the question on the screen. They can see all of the answers. Yep, they can see it all. Um, no problem, Gail, at night. We know that you had to step away to take important calls. You're probably getting flued out somewhere. Girl, don't even let us know. We, we Just keep it. Yep. G. Albert says, you so smart, Laquita. We got your questions in there. That's why you're saying that. Thank you. <laughs> so Audrey's Living Life is answering slightly nutty. Uh, Ali Matu, Saudi of Vlogs. You know, they were talking some stuff, boy. If y'all are living in different countries, working, she had one lady that was in uh, Saudi Arabia and she herself is in Kuwait. They were talking about working in these different countries and what it's like. So it's always great to hear different things. Most people say that flax seeds taste like what? Now, y'all know a lot of our research, we definitely get these answers from medical sites. So nutritional sites, nutritional sites, healthline.com. Oh, I didn't put that in the um, video description. Well, nutritionfacts.org. Yes. Nutritionfacts.org. So you know what, G. Albert, everybody says this. Is Corey sleeping? His eyes are closed. Let me put you on a full screen, Corey. Now they're open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not, not closed, not so, sleeping. So we're going to explain this though, because Corey can't see his eyes. A lot of times he- My eyes is a droop. Yeah, because he didn't want to wear glasses when when he lost his sight 20, over 25 years ago. That's why y'all can see me like, huh? What do you mean? Like I have my eyebrows raised because I'm trying to make sure my eyes are open, but without the, having the benefit of light perception, like I said, my, my eyelids will just naturally droop, you know, and I'm not sleeping, but it looks that way. So definitely I understand where you're coming from. So, huh? So you're not looking, so you're not bored, you're not disinterested, none, none of that, right? Nope. Lord, let's get back to the yeah, games because Philip is saying, now they're playing Dr. Corey, Nurse Quita. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I am a nurse. But but, uh, but that's a good question. I'm glad you brought that up, G.I., because it gives us time to explain that because, again, that is something that happens. Sometimes it's a group of added behaviors or uh, situations like that or things, a phenomenon that occur called blindisms. And that's mm. one of them. That's why you see people wearing the glasses because... They don't, they either their eyes are discolored, they may not have eyes, or because- Their eyes their look eyes, the uh, other way constantly and right. people talking to them get distracted. They mm -hmm. feel like, are they paying attention? Well, people think you're staring at them but, and you're not staring at them. So. Yes, it's been over 25 years. Yes, Ali Matu Saudi of Vlogs that Corey has not been able to see, but trust me, he can see this food. Uh, so here's the question. Food. You can't. Well, you know, you 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 yeah. always seem to find you don't have any problems finding food. So let's give uh Audrey's living life. You know, she always has the right answer. Most people, I'm gonna most people say that flax seeds taste like what? I'm gonna say slightly nutty because that's what she says. Uh the answer is fiber or ground, slightly nutty. Let's answer. Boom, we got it right. Oh. And then it'll automatically advance us to the next question, which is so we still have our three hearts at the top. I think Are if we flax get it wrong. Seeds typically eaten whole or ground. Are flax seeds typically eaten whole or ground? You know, when I see them bake the stuff, sometimes in those muffins, because you can put them in breads and mm -hmm. whatnot. A lot of times they are not ground. They have the whole flaxseed in there and right. it's not as beneficial that way. Yeah, it's a lot of times people <laughs> use it just for texture and crunch. Because I've had, like you said, a lot of times they'll make those muffins that I bought from the coffee shop and they say, it's mm -hmm. got flaxseeds. And it's like you're biting on, you're chewing through the flaxseeds. But again, you, you want to release the, uh, the, the the oils and the fiber that's in the flaxseeds because that makes it easier for you to digest, but also gives you the benefits of what flaxseeds do. So you want to what are you doing i had to pause so i'm not going to answer oh okay <laughs> well philip says Corey raises his eyebrows when he reads the comments right david Corey cannot see now y'all if y'all want to figure out what people can see and what they can't see serenity serenity studio art this lady is an artist and she has a lot of different people on her channel that talks about their vision like Sometimes they can see the stairs. Sometimes they can't. It depends on, like, say, like the front steps coming into the house. It depends on how the lights hit it. So 
Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Corey doesn't see anything to, at all. We got to make a blind word wall game. Yeah. You know what? Let's do that. So Serenity Studio Art says she used to take flaxseed oil. And G. Albert says, man, we're always getting an education. Well, do, oh, let, thanks for the thumbs up. We appreciate it, Serenity Studio Art. And since we're talking about that, guys, if you want to contribute to our word wall questions that you have in your field of expertise, that um, in conversations that you might have with other people that they have questions that you would like to see answered on this show, definitely send it to us. Send us a question to admin at blindguyhiswife.com. So in the description, I mean, in the subject line, if you want your question added to these games, because we're definitely building out some questions from the professionals and a lot of you are experts in your field, admin at blindguy.com. And in the subject field, what should they put, Corey? Put word wall question. Game show questions. Game show questions. Trivia questions. Game, yep. show, questions. game show questions. That way they don't have to remember Word like, ball, yeah, man. game and show questions. make sure you tell us what category it is. So if you have questions about blindness that you don't have the answers for, then we can put, they'll make that part of the game show. Or if you are expert matter in the subject matter, like say, for example, David Hunt is an expert in different two types of equipment to use when setting up your studio, then you can always ask, send us a question with a list of possible answers that we can incorporate into the game. Yes. So look here, seed to supper, plant-based everything plus fish. Matrell is saying greetings, chat family. Seed to supper. Hey Matrell there, Matrell. Mission. So we're going to give the answer you know to what? this I question while out, she's here. I just figured out why she can actually fly and go back and forth. She's not paying for it because she's posing as Regina King. Yep, probably so. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's answer the question. All right. The question is, are flax seeds typically eaten whole or ground? So I'm going to choose ground because the other answer is fiber. So we know that ain't right. Boom. All right. All right. And once we answer it, we got it right. They gave us the check mark. Next question. I'm going to pull up the Healthline article. So that way you all will know where Black you can find. help your digestive health so you have a smooth move because they contain what? <laughs> Why did they only have one answer? I think because I think you did it. It's, it's, the way this game is set, it's set up by process of elimination. But no, they only have one answer. They usually have at least two or three. Right. Black seeds help, uh, help your digestive health, so you have a smooth move because they contain what? Da -da, fiber. Is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Let's just go ahead and check that one. Fiber. Oh, and you know what? Seed to supper. Uh, plant-based everything plus fish. She did answer ground. So you definitely want to, she's a chef. She's a professional chef. So y'all listen to her. She says, you definitely want to, ooh, ooh, sounds like I just got out over there on the game. Uh, definitely grind your flax seeds. I'm going to pull up the article for Healthline. So that way, once we show you that, we can do our first place pony race. Serenity Studio Art says, I'm legally blind, but have no mobility issues. No cane needed. My disability is invisible unless you watch me read. I need a magnifier or ecam reader. Yes. And you know, her show is don't one. Even, don't front Serenity Art. Uh, we, we, we seen that uh, TikTok of you driving. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's doing it uh, residency right now. And so it's pretty cool. She's chronicling her days and how all of that works. They have 24 hour access to the studio. Right. They have their own key and all of those things. So we are going to show you the Healthline article. We're going to also drop this link into the chat. So if you're wondering, like, where did they even get this information? Is this real or what? Yes, we'll show it to you. Then thanks, GT Junior, for putting in hashtag the home team, because that's what's next. Thank you. Junior. The first place pony race. So, uh, Corey, here's the question from G. Albert. So is Corey a subject matter expert with being blind? <laughs> nah, nah, I don't know nothing about that. You know what? I ain't been, I, I just got into it 25 years ago, so nah, I'm not. <laughs> you know what? But no, it's, I'm not, I wouldn't say it's a subject matter expert about being blind because everybody's blind experience is going to be different from other from others. Like my experience is going to be different from Serenity Arts' experience mm -hmm. because even though she's, le she's legally blind, she's still vision impaired. And that's the better way to say it, say a vision impaired as the, the overall overarching theme. But Serenity Art is vision impaired, but hers is legal blind, and so she doesn't have a mobility issue. She still has some use, usable vision. Me, I'm completely blind. I don't have any usable vision whatsoever. So our experience is going to be different, even though we're both vision impaired. Yeah, I definitely say, say what you are. Don't even say vision impaired because right. people don't, don't know, know what that exactly. means. Remember, this is where you send your game questions. If you have more questions about uh, if you have more questions to add, right. questions and answers, send your question and your answer 
so that we can include it in these games, right? So that way everybody can see it. So everybody's putting in hashtag the home team. That's going well. Can I tell a quick bad, bad dad joke? Yeah, sure. Well, right okay. now I'm just sharing with them on the screen the information about, hold up, am I sharing it? Where are we? Yep, about Healthline. Okay, top nine health benefits of flax seeds. So it's a very easy article at the top. Uh, this lady, Rachel Link, has her MS, master's degree. Her She's a res registered dietitian, RD, and also by Verena Tan, who is a, also has her PhD. Also another, it was medically reviewed by Jared Meacham, a PhD. And we got next gen in here today, right? Yes. So next gen is a, is a PhD holding nutrition expert as well. So if you have questions, you can ask her in the chat as well. She's in there, she'll answer. Yeah, so this tells, you, spot next gen. <laughs> this tells you all about the flax seeds. Uh, this is where you can find, if you need to fact check anything that we've given you today, this is a peer reviewed, uh, science reviewed and all of those kinds of things uh, for flax seeds. So you can definitely trust this article. And if you'd like to cross reference, you can check some of your other medical professionals. Don't just go to people's everyday blogs saying, I put flax seeds in my kid's yogurt. Nope. Follow the professionals. So, Corey, you said you're going to give, and I did drop this link into the chat as well, so that way people know where to find that. What were you going to give, Corey? I was going to tag uh, tagline, uh, put put a tag on uh, G. Albert's uh, question about expert subject matter expert about being blind. I had a bad, dead tacky joke. Oh, okay. Right. So, why did the blind man go into the store and swing his guide dog around in a circle by the leash? Um, Global Green Book. This is he just wanted to look around. <laughs> uh, yeah, Global Green Book. You have a dog, I think. I don't think you would ever swing your dog around to look around. <laughs> Put in hashtag the home, home team, team Global Green Book because you always win when you come in. Serenity Serenity Studio Art says yes, right. Blindness is on a spectrum that starts with twenty two hundred vision. That's all the way to total blindness. Right. Wow, yes. And I'm on that right-hand side of the spectrum. <laughs> right, you're at the end, yeah, where you don't see shadows or anything. Boy, that was close. You said you're at the end where you don't see shadows. I was like, whoo, <laughs> I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> Thank you, Audrey's Living Life. We're about to do first place. Pony G. Albert says, I told you that Laquita married a smart guy. Y'all men are always helping each other nah, out. He's been I'll going back you. and forth today. He started out complimenting you. Oh, then he, he complimented did. you again. He complimented yes. me. So, yeah. Global Green Book actually liked your joke. Okay, okay. It's tacky, I know. Serenity <laughs> Studio Art, Angie T. Jr. are laughing. Wally is calling it the Greg Rig Phony, but just put in hashtag the home team. You just might win, Wally. That way we can drop your link. See Global Green Book, Next Gen Investor. Remember, she uh, has her PhD in nutrition, so we can trust her. And Lord knows, GT Jr. laughing. Uh, Y'all, <laughs> let's get back to game. I mean, let's get back to the first place pony. How will we do this, Corey? I am going to make the horse race announcement. And when I say bring, when I make the gate sound bring, you're going to say, and they're off and click the button. Okay. Remember you all, these games that we're playing today, they are all right there on our show. I mean, our website that's scrolling at the bottom of the screen, blindguyhiswife.com. So of course, if you're, you can always join the leaderboard with any of these games. Oh, I'm second on the leaderboard. So uh, I'm going to put the home team. They are currently second on the leaderboard. So that way, Beetlejuice is first place. You all, <laughs> there are 10 places. Your name will stay there for a month. So when you play these games, it stays there. But remember, if you're in our chat, we also are adding questions about the people that are in the chat. TWP Popcorn has a channel. So does David Hunt. He live streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday by doing what? Uh, we also have Yoga with Goga. Ooh, I got to fix his name. It says Yoga with Gogo. Wally has a second channel called Well Talk Productions. That we, we focuses take, on. Uh, uh, we're taking that off the game. We're taking that off the game. Because he said it's rigged. Yeah, he said it's rigged. So we're taking him out in the trivia. No, I'm just joking, Wally. Uh huh. See, I, I enjoy the banter with Wally. Wally's funny to me. Right? G Mama Grows, Matrell on a Mission. So we're going to now have to add her other channel as well, Philip Waldo Jr. We got that bottle of vodka in there, the bucket of chicken. We got to add some of art too today. Yes, Serenity, Serenity Studio Art, Global Green Book, you all, we will definitely, if you if you have a particular question, but hey, either way, we will get a question in here about your channel. However, if you want to also contribute to another, uh, an, another game about your expertise, 
we'll create a game just for that. Okay, enough of that. First place pony. I stalled enough for everybody to be able to put in hashtag the home team. So how are we going to do this, Corey? Because Afroscope TV is saying greetings. Afroscope, how you doing today? We're going to make the, I'm going to make the horse race announcement. And when I say bring, and I make that gate sound, bring, then you're going to say, and they're off and click the button. <laughs> Why was Wallace saying boo? <laughs> he forgot to put ya at the end of it. That's all. Okay. Boo you know what? Here's a good question. Uh, GT Jr. said, can we name Buy Me A Coffee a different name if we put it on our page? Just asking. Yes, you can call it um, anything like you can. David Hunt, for example, when you go to his page, it says buy me a song. The name of the platform is buy me a coffee, just like Patreon is going to be Patreon. But your Patreon page might be called GT Junior Grows It. That's the way buy me a coffee is. You can customize it that way. So definitely everybody's uh, chatting it up. And this way, GT Junior, you can sell your seeds right there on buy me a coffee. You can do updates and posts there. You cannot embed these games into there. However, you can create these games and embed them in a post because you can do posts in there, which means you just notify your folks, you email them. I'm a member of David's Buy Me A Song page and I get his updates. I got his update when he was sick. You know, he was like, hey, we're doing well over here. So, uh, oh, look at Wallet. No, Wealth Talk Productions is my first channel. This isn't a channel. Bro, mm -hmm. look, you know what? <laughs> Let's get into first place, Pony. Everybody has put in hashtag the home team. Let's go for it, Corey, because we only got 20 minutes left in today's show. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another run of the blind guy, his wife, their life live. First place, Pony Derby. All the jockeys are mounted and behind the gates and ready to ride. Laquita, yes. what does Serenity Studio Art say to the nude artist that she's about to paint? Bring. Ooh, and they're off. <laughs> JT Jr., uh, GT, wait, JT Coin Rings. Bravo, what's she the lady? Let's chat. Next Gen Investor, Audrey Living Life, GT, G Albert, David Hunt, Philip Waldo Jr., GT Jr. Grows Life. Global Green Book! Hey, global Green Book. <laughs> Every book. time she wins. Oh my goodness. <laughs> global Green Book came riding in on a Clydesdale and took the race home. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, start your Buy Me a Visa page and folks will donate to the cause. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm probably going to fact check me till there's nothing left. You know what? Do what you got to do. That's the way it works. While well, everybody congratulates Go Global Green Book, Philip Waldo Jr., Mary Amade pulled you, and Global Green Book is over there dancing, Corey. That's All what right. I'm talking so about. Congratulations to our first place pony. But right now, we need to take a coffee break. Oh, Sonovia Ridley, Audrey's living life. Everybody's excited for her. And good news, Global Green Book. Gail at night will be dropping your channel link because... You are the first place, place pony. Yes, bravo with Sheila Ladies. Let's chat. You know what she said, Corey? Me? No, she uh, said bravo. The, the lady bravo. one. <laughs> okay. I, just, I didn't know. I, that rigged is a popular word, so. I know. Yay, congrats. Next Gen Investor TV says, and thank you, Gail at Night, for dropping that link. We do appreciate it. So you say that we're going to go to... A coffee break. All right, let's do it. We've got lots of great people out there that are making this possible. And we want to thank a few of them because they decided not to just buy us a coffee, but they decided to become sponsors. Mm -hmm. If you would like to become a sponsor or if you would like to make a one-time donation, go to our website, blindguyhiswife.com, and click the green coffee cup so she can say... What you doing? And I can say, girl, you know what I'm doing. I'm fitting to do like some ground flax seeds. I'm going to grind it and stir it like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> all right you all here are the sponsors we're going to thank them i hope we paid the internet bill because the thing ain't playing anyways thank you to our sponsors we're ever gracious <laughs> to you okay i'm trying to stall so the thing will play supreme sponsors david and christine brooks Supreme Sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Supreme Sponsor, JDWR. Check out his YouTube channel. Supreme Sponsor, Cardio Conversation. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindgashiswife.com. That's all you have to do. Right. There's no riggedness regardless of what Wally says. Um, you know, everybody's still congratulating Cassandra Salt, South Fulton Garden. She's congratulating Global Green Book, who's laughing, saying, yes, indeed. Hey, mm -hmm. 
And, you know, seed to supper, plant-based everything plus fish. That's the professional chef, Matrell on a mission herself. Uh, she's congratulating Global Green Book. And thank you, Gail at Night, for definitely dropping the links of our sponsors. We do appreciate them. Sonia Tube from Namibia is in there saying, uh, I, I forget what that particular um, hashtag says, but let's get to the game. It's, it's like... The emoji doesn't show. Oh, okay. That's right. that's why I was trying to figure out like how to explain it to you since you can't see your eyes don't work. Corey can't see y'all. We're not messing up no checks. <laughs> All right, Corey, are you ready for the next question on flax seeds? Remember? We're ready. Where should they find well, this information to fact check it? Oh, a recipe. Healthline.com. Okay. You can go to healthline.com and learn about all the wonderful benefits of flax seeds. They have an article there that gives you nine benefits of flax seeds. So don't forget to check out healthline.com or you can check out nutrition facts, nutritionalfacts.org. Nutritionfacts.org is where Michael Greger has looked up some. Dr. Of Michael. Greger. Dr. Michael Greger, yes. So healthline.org. Uh, this is how we found this we just put in flaxseed health benefits and there this article is telling you the top nine health benefits of flax seeds super easy read written by dietitians and people with their new nutritionists yes and uh got their phd in nutrition like next gen invested tv and so it gives you the easy info as well as lots of links so you can definitely fact check directly from here now we're heading back to blindguyhiswife.com. You know, Mary, Mary is premiering, probably telling us about another grant. Y'all know she tells us all of those good things. That's why I didn't put anything. I remember I was supposed to put something on the game about her, um, about her grants and everything. Because, you know, we've got Audrey's Living Life and everybody on here, Gail at Night, all the content creators. And if you're in today's show, we will add your channel. Let's head back down here to the flax seeds game where I've got the leaderboard up. I'm going to start again. Oh, you know, I meant to resume because we already answered this question. So no problem. We'll just answer. Flax seeds help your digestive health so you have a smooth move because they contain what? Fiber, ground, or slightly nutty. Flax seeds help your digestive health so you have a smooth move because they contain fiber. So we did answer that and it's gonna take us to the next question. Are flax seeds typically eaten whole or ground? All right, so Little Ruby's um, daycare encounter says she's <laughs> passing through. Keep in mind, Little Ruby's, this particular question, our chef is answering that they are ground. Uh, she answered fiber already. Earlier she answered this one as ground. And thank you, Audrey's Living Life, uh, for ex for explaining that. Thank you again, Chef Matrell, for answering this question again. But what I wanted to tell you, Little Ruby's Daycare, is that this particular game is one that you can use for your preschoolers. You can create this for the parents. You can create whatever information you need for people to know. Any of you watching, if you want to educate- Most people say that flax seeds taste like what? Slightly nutty is the only answer, so we'll choose it. But we showed yesterday how to create these games, how you can educate on whatever you're teaching. This way you definitely can bring more sales, bring more income, generate more interest and engagement from your audience, and it really makes a difference. There you go. Then. Wait a minute. Why is this, you know what? Why is it why are there only three questions? Let's just take this down and revamp it because ah, we have more questions that are not there. You gotta show another recipe too. Well, oh yeah, let's do that. Now, our recipe showing today, uh, they are recipes that either have flax seeds in them or can be flax seeds can easily be included without altering the taste. The first one we showed you was a quick and easy banana pudding where you can add flax seeds to it so that you can uh, enjoy enjoy the benefits of anti-aging weight loss you can also in in you can also help you <laughs> in irritable bowel syndrome you can put a stop and break on high cholesterol high blood pressure and again the smooth move you know what corey um i'm gonna show that recipe and the one that you're talking about the, the no we already showed right. that one gt jr is at work David Hunt still saying it's rigged and Wally says we froze. So let's get into the next recipe and I'm going to see if I saved that game.
because maybe that's why all those questions aren't in there. Right. Oh my goodness. Oh no, please don't tell me. I got to redo that, but it takes about 10 minutes uh, in real time. So no problem. Uh, let's go on to the next recipe. Which one do you want to show right now? The cran banana nut? Let's show the cran banana nut muffins. Now these muffins, of course, they do contain flax seeds. And I think these show how you can use flax seeds as an egg replacement when you're baking. So when you need to bind things, hold things together, a lot of times that's why you would use eggs and baking. That's why I used to use them when I was making, using eggs while baking. And even before we stopped eating eggs, I would use this just because it was like cheaper than using my eggs. So here's the recipe, cran banana nut muffins. Cran banana nut muffins. This recipe includes flour, oats, sugar, oil, plant-based milk, vanilla, ground flax, banana, walnuts, and dried cranberries. Start by adding our banana and our sugar. Bananas have a sugar content that's balanced with fiber to help maintain healthy blood sugar levels. The inside of banana peels reduces the itching and swelling of insect bites. We're gonna add our fourth cup of coconut oil here. Baking powder, just a tablespoon full. As I add yogurt. Coconut yogurt helps digestion because of its natural probiotics, which can improve intestinal function, protect from infections, reduce the risk for colon cancer and lower cholesterol. Just foaming out of control. Add a little bit of vanilla. Add our oats. We'll also add our flour, cinnamon. Cinnamon has antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. It's also full of antioxidants to help reduce inflammation. Nutmeg, so we're gonna add a little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg is an active ingredient in gum paste and toothpaste. It also relieves pain, calms indigestion, helps cognitive function, detoxifies, helps your skin, and reduces insomnia. So this is where I also add turmeric. Turmeric is full of antioxidants, which are chemicals that help stop or limit damage caused by free radicals. Also add just a little bit of salt, a little bit of this flax egg. Stir to mix the ingredients. Add our nuts and craisins. I Google what it's good for and tell us. So I'll start by adding half the milk. Preheat oven to 400 degrees. Bake at 400 degrees, 10 to 12 minutes. I really like these breakfast muffins. I really like the cranberries and the ingredients you put in it is like an ingredient you would put in it. All right, so a tasty and easy way to add flax seeds into your diet so you can help with your weight loss, you can help with the anti, slowing the effects of aging, digestive issues, high, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and then also making sure that you get that smooth move. And Absolutely. You can, do it all, you can make bake with flax seeds like this as an egg replacement so you don't have to eat eggs. So thank you for so that. You have egg allergy, you know, this mm, is a good substitute. Because a lot of people cannot eat eggs. Now, David Hunt had a phone call. He had to put the real comment rigged up in there. He came mm -hmm. back to do it. But thank you, Next Gen Investor, investor saying, yeah, flaxseed meal. It's good stuff. Uh, thank you so much, Wally, because he says that we are back because we were frozen, but he also said the riggedness is back. Let me show you all. This is how the riggedness will finish because we're at the end of this one hour talk show, but we have to give you some value, right? We can't just give it to you at the beginning or the middle or the end. So right now we are going to see which content creator that's in the chat, who will we add a question to right now while we're live to our game. All right. All right. So I am going to run the selector. That way you all are going to see it. It's going to be unrigged. Do they be do a hashtag to get in? They don't have to do anything. Well, they, if they want to say something in the chat, all they have to do is chat. If you didn't say anything in the last few minutes, I think this is just going to pull in anybody that's ever said anything. anything. All right. Look, Global Green Book was like, wow. Look, let me tell you, those I've been making breads, muffins, and all of that for so long that way. And Serenity o Studio Art is still here. So great, thank you for chatting because we're gonna add a question to that word wall game for our YouTube creators that's on the site right now. We're gonna do it live. So you don't even have to, uh, you don't even really have to say very much. Let's just go for it. How do you wanna do it, Corey? All right, I'll say three, two, one, and then we'll say, Flax seeds. And okay. Then we'll go ahead and uh, you can click the button. All right. Say it. Three, two, one. Flax 
Black Seeds. Mm. All right, Cassandra South Fulton Garden, Serenity, Serenity Studio Arts, Snowy, Ha Ha, Wally, Bravo, Sheila, Lady Less Chat, Seeds to Separate Plant Based, Global Green, but Little Ruby's Daycare and Commerce, David Hunt. David Hunt. <laughs> he already, gets another question. Oh, wait, no, wait. Question. He already has, he has a, a question. question. Yeah. So let's unrig it, right? But we'll, we'll add another question for him. So David Hunt is a winner and he just said rig. Remember that right. part? Yeah, he's been winning on the regular here lately. You know, Audrey's Living Life says, can you use whole flax seeds instead of nuts? No, you want to definitely grind them because I was just watching um, Dr. Baxter Montgomery. He was, they were talking about flax seeds as well and the benefits of them. And they were talking about grinding them because that's how you get the benefits. So definitely uh, look, uh, Serenio Studio Art, says, congratulations, Uncle G is singing. Yeah, David, XCMC didn't see his name. Don't worry, we're about to run it again because David already has a question in there. So we'll add a question, but we'll add somebody new while we're live. So to answer your question, uh, I think I answered it, Audrey's Living Life. Can you use the whole flaxseed instead of nuts? Uh, also, uh, when you look at that particular article, we did put the link into the chat for the flaxseeds. I think they have all the details there. So I'll make sure that I put it in again. So that way you look, XDMC said you must grind them. Mm -hmm. Look at David. All I do is win, win, win. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though, Audrey's Living Life, people do put them in whole. I noticed the restaurants, they have them in whole and bread and stuff. I think they just do that so you can see it. How he gonna sing and then he gonna say rig, rig, rig. <laughs> Thank you, JT Coin Rings. Uh, the, now, here's what the PhD in nutrition says. Some foods need processing for us to benefit. So that's where definitely add and grind. And if you just want to see them whole, XDMC is letting you know whole flaxseed may pass through your intestine undigested. Digested. Yep. Which means you won't get all the benefits. Thank you, everybody. And we do have our plant-based playlist right there on the site. How do you want to redo this, Corey? What are you going to say? What am I going to say? I'm going to say three, two, one, and then you're going to say, hmm. Because Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters are saying congratulations to David. I'm going to say three, two, one, and you're going to say smooth move. Okay. Three, two, three. one, smooth move. Right. I've got it. Three. Ready? Yep. Two, one. Smooth move. All right, Philip Walter Dream, uh, Serenity X Investors, Austin the Donna. Where's Wally? Philip Walter Dream, Serenity Mar Miriam, see the supper, Gail at night. Wally, haha, -ha. Gail at night. <laughs> she's got a question in there already too. <laughs> I know, right? You know what? Uh, Audrey's living life was just she just wanted a nut substitute. However, this I wouldn't say, even though it has a nutty flavor, it's not really a nut substitute because it has different benefits and properties. So yeah, you know, even if you, uh, oh, little Ruby's predicts that she'll be the next winner. Let's run it again on her behalf. All right, ready? Yes, because look, Audacity John Dawning is already congratulating Gail, and so is Serenity, Serenity Studio Art. Look, Global Green Book said it'd be like that. <laughs> <laughs> but Gail is clapping it up. And thank you, Gail, for dropping your channel. Now we know where to find you. Don't worry, little rubies. You have a chance. Let's see. Go, Corey. I'm going to say three, two, one. And uh -huh. you're going to say, please let somebody else win. Okay, go. Three, two, one. Please let someone else win. Global Green Book, Sonovia, uh, Gail at Night, Uncle G, Afroscope TV, Mary Mighty Poji, Barbara, Sheila, Ladies, Let's Chat, Seed the Supper, XDMC, David Hunt, JT Coin Rings, Audacity, hey, Donnie! Uncle G! <laughs> Absolutely, Uncle G. We're going to add a question right now. Audrey's Living Life says, yeah, I'll just leave the nuts out. You know, I will say, you can add other seeds. So if you're looking for another substitute, I didn't say that. Uh, pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds are amazing. Both of those. You don't want to grind the uh, sunflower seeds too much because that's how you end up with some tahini. But yes, pumpkin seeds, they're so great. Pepitas. Look at David Hunt. He says that's awesome. Wally, there is a prize. Talk about Philip. As we both know, there's no prize in this to do nothing. You know what? Mm -hmm. Look, uh, Uncle G says, hey, hey, he realizes the benefits, okay? So Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters, your question is going to be the first one we add after the live stream. Serenio Studio Art is congratulating Audacity Donning, and I've got to make sure I follow uh, your journey, Serenio Studio Art, for your uh residency this week let's see Sonovia saying congratulations audrey's living life and what did david hunt say these last two drawings are from alternate reality <laughs> <laughs> let me 
show you all what's real, okay? Because JT Coin Rings has been making it rain. Oh, you know what? We gotta definitely um, add a question for him as well. So the first question we're gonna add to our best YouTube creators, this is Wordwall. This is where we created these games. It's absolutely free to create up to five games. We showed you all how to do this yesterday and we have upgraded so that we can create more than five. What's the whopping <coughs> cost, Corey? The whopping cost is, is you have the basic, which is free. You have the uh, the next level, which is six dollars a month, and then the highest level is nine dollars a month. So we did the nine dollars a month, and uh, that's ninety-seven whole dollars a year, y'all. So here's the question: I'm gonna type in now. This is the cool thing: you can put uh, your own logo as the question because over here you can upload. I just write in the word question. It gives you all these free images to choose from. Our theme is red and white. That's our branding. So I have a question mark. What's the question for our winner, Corey? The winner was Uncle G, right? Mm -hmm. I guess he done. His chickens just had a birthday. He just won last night on um, Tori's Brain Games. He plays there a lot. They have a homestead, 40 acres and a mule. He said he bought the 40 acres because it was cheaper than buying five acres. Mm. So him and his wife have goats, chickens. Um, they're living the life and they both work full time. So what question could I ask here? Oh, XDMC says pumpkin seeds are good for the pump, brothers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby, I like it raw. He's got that on there. <laughs> oh, Serenio Studio <laughs> Arts residency is nine months long and she'll be vlogging YouTube as you journey each week, a weekly vlog. Nice. All right, so bravo with Sheila, ladies, let's chat. I think she's still in California. She might be over here on the East Coast again, but uh, she's doing good things on her channel. Did you think of the question? I've been stalling. Yes, I did. Okay, I'm ready. Uncle G, mm, I just lost. Uncle G is, mm. Uncle G has 40 acres and a mule. What, answer, what animals is he raising on his homestead? All right. Uh, Audacity Donning, AKA Uncle G is raising which animals on his 40 acre homestead? Mm -hmm. All right, his 40 acre homestead. And then what answers will we give? We know he's got the chickens because they had a birthday. Got the goats. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. Rabbits. He does have rabbits and he was showing that whole journey as well. And so right now, chicken, this is what this is what makes this game builder so easy. Haha, ha, I should put a bucket of chicken. They show you all the free images so you can choose the correct answers by putting an X at the bottom instead of one correct answer. I'm going to put all correct answers so people can choose more than one. Do you have any other answers, Corey? Yeah, I'm ready. giraffes. All right, giraffes. And the nice thing is you can add the accessibility feature. So, look, you can generate Giraffes. So that way, if you want your question to speak, boom, you can do it. So I think, uh, I can't remember if all of the, all, the which he's raising animals? which animals, yes. My in-laws. You know what? Why do you got giraffes fighting? I should put that. Oh, right. I'm gonna put uh, in-laws, just in-laws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's the wrong answer, so. Um, let's see. I'll choose a picture of mother. Um, I'm going to choose this church lady with the hat. And any other wrong answer, Corey? Um, or right answer for, oh, he doesn't have any goats yet. So I got to, I got to fix that. No, you don't have to fix it. Because that's wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just have to put an X there. Right. Thank you so much. Wildebeest. Thanks, Philip. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I'll put, uh, okay, so that's a wrong answer. And I'll put uh, wildebeest. I don't even know how to spell that. Is this? W-I-L-D-E-B-E-E-S-T. Oh, there's not a, uh, there's not an R. It's not wildebeest. No. Okay, wildebeest. Let me see if this, what they pull up. Yeah, I do see some pictures of them. Do you know they always got them crossing the water? Man, look, that, man, that's, 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 that's PWJ's kindergarten picture. You know what? <laughs> That looks like a good picture. Let me get some pictures of some goats also. Oh, goats are always so cute. Those cute kids. Let's see here. Um, we are done. Now that I'm done, 
if you all go to blindguyswife.com, his question will automatically be there. And right after this live stream, we'll be adding JT Coin Ring's question. You can preview it here. Of course, the leaderboard, you can edit down below. And all of these things are pretty easy to put in. So remember the leaderboard lasts for one month. Corey, our hour, look, <laughs> David Hunt said, put in porcupines. And Philip said, uh, yaks and moose, David Hunt, armadillo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Sheila is still in Cali, by the way. All right. You know what? Uh, he's raising Wolverines. I hope not, XDMC. And yes, Global Green Book. He said when he bought this property, the 40 acres, he said that there wasn't, he didn't buy it with the mule, but there was one hanging out. So I don't know if they do that for uh, sale purposes or what. Duckbill platypus. <laughs> <laughs> Serenio Studio Art, we've got to go to our one hour is up. We've had an amazing time with you all today. And so let's definitely say goodbye to them before we say raising Corey Boons. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> We've had an amazing time with you all here on game day. We do want to show you, I'm going to refresh the page on our home screen, Corey, of our mm -hmm. website. We do want to show you that Uncle G's question is live. That's the nice part about embedding the game onto your site is that it will pop up. Uh, let's see the flaxseed facts. Nope. Let's scroll back up to growing on YouTube. Let's go to the best YouTube creators to be sure that we see his question in there because mm -hmm. I just refreshed it. When you fix it in the back end, it automatically populates so that whoever is playing, they are there live. Lord, did we pay the internet bill? Why That's won't right. the question pop up? Man, we look bad. Thank you so much, Bravo with Sheila. Ladies, let's chat. We've got to add your question in there as well. Miriam is back. Miriam, we're going to add mm -hmm. your question in here too. So I'm going to scroll through. Corey, are you figuring out how we're going to say goodbye? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, tell us. See, TWP, Trash Can't Wave, David Hunt, G. Albert. Who else do we have? Qu question for Uncle G, a.k.a. Uncle, I mean, Audacity Dawning, a.k.a. Uncle G, is raising which animals on his 40-acre homestead? And it tells you right at the top, select two answers, chicken and rabbits. He's not raising wildebeest or in-laws. <laughs> or, goats. or goats definitely not so you all can find these games right here on blindguyhiswife.com and of course our flaxseed game will be adding more information more questions to there as well remember guys if you Wally are, says upgrade look our internet mm, mm, mm. guys remember if you are a subject matter expert in whatever field that you are subject matter expert in if you have questions that you would like to see added to our games on, on our word wall games, definitely send us the question and the answers that you would like to have added to the word wall games. Yes. And if you have a question about blindness, because we're going to add that to it, send us the question and we'll create the game, the game questions around that particular question that you have about blindness. All you have to do is send an email to admin at blindguyswife.com. Now, you know that Gail at Night has dropped in there how they can download the three little pigs. But keep in mind, when you go to opportunities on blindguyswife.com, you can definitely see how you can download the game, how you can join the affiliate program or learn about the characters and play the game to learn about the characters. So we've definitely made this an interactive experience. Definitely use these tools for yourselves. This way you can educate others in a dynamic way as well. How do we say goodbye, Corey? Thank you for posting the email link. Well, guys, welcome to the weekend. We've counted you down to another successful weekend countdown on a blind guy. His wife. They're like live. Join us next week for more great guests and more great content as we change the narrative of normal about health, business, and wealth. To say goodbye, we are going to say goodbye the same way that Wally would say goodbye whenever he feels like he's about to be entered into a race that he doesn't want to be entered into. Wally says, deuces! Deuces! Deuces, yeah!